William Schwatt. Give the people what they schwatt. Where are you from, William? I live here in Austin. I originally grew up in Schenectady. There you go. Yeah, get, get comfortable with the mic. Check one, check two. All right, all right, right there. Okay, all right. He, he lives in Austin. It's all right. I'm not testing you. You're testing the mic. Maybe just okay. the mic. All right. You ready? A one, a two, three. You're up. To me, the pun tops the list of rhetorical divisives. What else do you have that has such duality and brings us together in such ambiguity? Uh, I just realized that maybe I shouldn't let epiphany off so much. But when I was young, I used to be told, look, I believe in you and don't you let me down about that. And just suppose you were given such great encouragement. Anyway, so yesterday I was walking by and I saw a man editing an octagonal sign to say, Halt! I'm not the most pious man in the world, but that's a sin on him, right? <laughs> I went to talk it over with my grandmother, and I met her for lunch. <laughs> she opened up the door and said, Hominin. <laughs> we ended up talking about deforestation and how when trees Dialogue is created. <laughs> apple trees have apple logs. Single trees have monologues. Because of lumberjacks, the past was all very prologue. Except for the petrified forest, which broke axes because, you know, it's irony. <laughs> well, my friends tell me I should have a more modern look on things and that I should treat it more like the X Men. Permutation, so to speak. Have you seen these movies? where the elders sit back with their mission, it's all safe and you know, talky, and euphemisms get to uh, save the world in dangerous ways. The young guys go out there and they run around like parables, while uh, Xavier looks exhausted and just satires. I mean, the only time I've seen Xavier get the least bit stimulated was during uh, Mystique's inflated parodies. goes to show, like the old commercial says, every literary bit hurts. <laughs> All right.